child shirt continued. We just did the layout and cutting of the marker for the child shirt. We cut that out in muslin and we cut out the interfacing. And one thing I also just cut out was a pocket. Just about that big. It's got a hem on the top there. A little bit of half inch seam allowance around the edge. And we're going to start with this. This is step number one. The hidden hem curved pocket. We're going to turn the top edge on the wrong side together one quarter inch and edge stitch on the fold. We're going to press this down a little quarter of an inch and we're going to give this a little edge stitch. Let's go ahead and trim those threads nice and close. And we started and stopped this edge stitch with a back stitch. You can see right here and here, two to three stitches. Now we're going to take this, this is the right side of the fabric, and we're going to turn the hem down the remainder of the amount. You can see here we have a notch that was one inch from the top. Well, if you've taken a quarter, you have about three quarters of an inch left. You can go ahead and turn that down. You can put bins at both ends. Here's that notch. We'll go ahead and pin the seam allowance to the edge. We've put this right sides together, this is the right side, and we're going to sew a half of an inch all the way around the edge there to use as a guide to turn the seam allowance back. This is going to be a stay stitch, and this is going to be on our three edges. We're going to do this one half of an inch away from the edge, and I'm not going to do a back stitch. inch away. Take my pin out. Coming to the curve. Coming to the other curve, the other corner. the pin. There we go. We've done our stay stitch. It's a half of an inch away from the edge. Looks really good. Now we're going to go ahead and turn our corners around. We're going to pull them and we're going to gather our stay stitch and press it into a great little shape there. So I'm first off going to use this thread just to see if I can pull that little uh, curved corner down there at the bottom just a little bit. Pull this in just a little bit down here at the bottom. Help my corner to curve in.
curve in a little bit there at the corner. Just starting to help it round out. Okay, that's what we want it to do. A little bit more. Then I'm also going to use my pressing template as well. Go ahead and head, turn my corners. Right after giving a little snip. Should have given these guys a back stitch. Let me just go ahead and do that. There we go. Turn those little threads up. Looks good. Let's go ahead and turn this hem around on the top edge of the pocket. Nice corner. Looks good. So now I'm going to take my pressing template which if we take a look at the pocket, I've just made a piece of hard paper a half inch smaller all the way around the edge, except for the top hem. There's the pocket. Here's a pressing template. And then I can use that to go ahead and press back the seam allowance. What I want to make sure is that this stitch doesn't show on this side, so I'm going to pull that in there a little bit and continue on with my pressing. Work on my rounded corners. Let's go ahead and finish up that straight edge. I tuck that seam allowance in there for that pocket hem. It looks good, looks ready to go on.
Now we're going to take the front of the shirt. Take the pocket. I'm going to have a hem up here at the bottom, like so. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and pin that down in place. You can always measure it, make sure it's exactly where you'd like it to be. Adjust that a little bit. Good, it's parallel. That looks nice. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to do a little edge stitch. So it's going to go down the sides here, like so, and around the corners back up again, but we're also going to do a little triangle right in the corner of this pocket with our edge stitch. Okay, so I'm going to start here little back stitch, round, all the way around, come back up, little triangle, and little back stitch. So we'll start and end with a back stitch. Here we go. Right at the edge of the hem, we're going to pivot. Let's go ahead and trim those threads. If you can get to the one underneath, you can trim it. If not, we'll leave it for later. Now we're going to go down the edge. to go around that corner and this little area here keeps poking out so I'm going to try to tuck it underneath there Let's go across the top. And we'll go down in our little triangle. We'll go one more stitch. And take out a few pins as well since it's anchored really nicely at this point. Okay, 
Now I'll make my little triangle. And we'll do a back stitch, or you can pick it up and sew back. And there is our pocket. Trim our threads on the other side. And here is step number one.